the culture industry. You know. Nothing is out. Not, see, there's nothing out there by accident. Anything from the top down, and culture is always given from the top down, not never from the bottom up. And uh, uh, that's what Plato said all those years ago. It has to come from the top. Uh, if anything happened from the bottom level, the true grassroots level, they have to squash it very quickly uh, because it would have untold effects on their plans at the top. So anything that's pushed out for the mass to gobble up and becomes popular, and that's music, movies, everything, the whole entertainment industry, and in- including the, the religious uh, industry as well, is, is uh, definitely, definitely part of the, the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. And, you know, to expand on uh, what you were saying about, you know, this uh, creation, um, now the a Course in Miracles um, was actually started by, created by two people who worked for the CIA. They worked for the government, that's right, and she started channeling the information, and, and she started to channel all the information that Jesus forgot to tell you. You see, so uh, they, they, they changed everything, and of course he happened to write it all down, supposedly, and uh, and that became the New Age Bible for for lots of people too. Yeah, yeah. Again, again see, so yeah. if you go into the histories of, and I've got some links to videos up there, uh, how the CIA have been involved in mind control, including all of this New Age stuff, because what better uh, scenario than to have volunteers willingly come in? thinking they're going to have a God experience and God's going to talk to you. And they can pretty well guarantee it, because if they will, they'll get voice to skull. And, um, and you're all happy with And you become a very good apostle and disciple. And I talked to one person who had been through this training, and uh, she worked for the United Nations. She said that um, bombing the people over in the Middle East was okay, because they had decided to come back in their lifetime uh, to be bombed. Uh, that, that was their karma, to come back in and be uh, those people that they are now or were now in those places when they got bombed. And she felt no guilt whatsoever. It was a way of karma. I mean, this is a fantastic form of mind control. Uh, that, goes right in lo- and that goes right in line with uh, eugenics, too. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah. because if people are born into their caste system, yeah. then, you know, that pretty much... Uh, Exclude the idea of charity or anything because it's inborn. It's yep. within them. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's no need for charity. There's no need for education. Or Look anything. at India. Look at India. That we were all the reincarnation business really was the was, that was their homeland, India, and the beggars at the side of the street. I talked to doctors from India who told me that the patients in Britain, for instance, wouldn't even get treatment. They should lie at the side of the street and die because. Because they were penniless, their number. So if you're poor, you're, you're nothing. It's a caste system, and you would come back, back as in a higher caste if you were worthy to be worked on and treated. And I says, well, just as well, you know, that uh, there's a different system in Britain, uh, because that's how he, that's what he said that those people that he was treating in Britain, uh, the elderly, would be left to the, the side of the seat and the street and die, and they should be. That's what he believed. Yeah, just like India. Well, you bring that stuff up to people, and a lot of them will say, well, you know, that's uh, also borrowed from Buddhism, too. And oh, sure. Great. Uh, well, Buddhism is wonderful because you can get into your own little headspace, and, and you can go wherever with it, but and never be responsible for anything, yeah. <laughs> or you can you can uh, go to the monastery and just sit around in a robe and chew soybeans. All it's, it's, it's better than working, isn't it, for a living? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the name of the people who created that uh, Course in Miracles, uh, the guy's name was William Thetford, and the woman's name was Helen Schumann. That's right. And um, they both um, worked with the CIA to be a personality assessment system. Yeah, that's right. They, they were right into uh, mind alteration, personality assessment, pick at the personalities, get their whole profile, see how we can alter. And basically, again, with combining that with all the data they drew from the L- MK Ultra experiments, remake a new person as a good, uh, efficient disciple of your cause. You know, absolutely. And that was to get used on all citizenry through other techniques that they would be unaware of. Well, through propaganda, all media, and so on, yeah. Yeah, that's how it's done. But uh, when you look at 
when you look at the Course in Miracles at Workbook, oh, man, mm-hmm. these things are crazy, man. And uh, Oprah has all her listeners, you know, uh, uh, complete all of these teachings one by one in this yeah. course. It's interesting, too, that Blavatsky said, you know, that uh, their main enemy was the churches, the established churches, because they had to destroy culture to re- remake society, order out of chaos. And they would uh, eventually bring it through the churches and by using religious techniques on the people. And that's exactly what they've, they've done. They've, brought re- they've used religion and then they've altered religion and then they've given you a new religion. And, and that's how they've done it. Because it's, it's a beautiful religion because there's no really real rules. There's no right and wrong. And you can never blame yourself. I remember Shirley MacLaine said the reason she slept with so many men is because she slept with them all in their previous lives. And I thought, well, there's an easy way to get away with it, you know. Uh, that's how they justify every, everything they do. And they don't have any guilt. They don't get weighed down by guilt. It's very, in other words, what they almost do to you is create a, a kind of psychopathic personality. Uh, that's that's uh, that's what you find. Uh, well, that's the way it has to go. Those folk have to die off because they're starving. Uh, those children have to die off because we're using cluster bombs on them, uh, because it's their karma. And don't worry, anyway, they'll come back again as something else. Mm. What an incredible uh, mind job, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's an expert. I mean, it's incredible. These people are good, man. They're very they're good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yes, you better be careful though. You, you better be careful. There's people who will hear this stuff and it's designed to hook folk right in. I mean, you, 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 I'm always very careful about links, etc. because there's a lot of people out there who literally, um, uh, no, they go in with an, a, a kind of open mind or a bit of prejudice against something, but these things are designed to suck you in and entice you and intrigue you. And I've known people who've been lost for years in this mind job. So I, I never advise them to go into it unless they really know who they are themselves. In other words, you're in control of your own mind, and you can dis- discern what you're reading, you know. Yeah. Oh, good point, good point. Yeah. Oh, you have to. I just wanted to call in and uh, share that with you. Great show. Uh, I appreciate you doing Because I'll tell you what, man, I heard all you get, you know, and criticism you get on all, all those uh Older radio shows used to go on, you know, the one you get invited back on after you yeah. uh, talked about this topic. But yep. you know, um, I mean, that's that shows you, yeah, you know how uh, many people have, you know, sucked, been sucked into this stuff. Oh yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, I appreciate what you're doing, Alan, and uh, you have a good. One. And you too. Thanks for calling. Yeah, it's really astonishing, as I say that. Um, when you realize what's happening and what's already happened and how it's even taught in school, and not just in, in uh, those particular schools, but in, in general schooling as well. They can teach this kind of stuff too through little stories to tell the children out of books and all the rest of it. And moral relativity is taught from a very early age now. And, and again, you've got the parents that way. Now, it's a thing too, here's another thing too, is what I remember too, that eugenics is tied up with the controllers of this movement and they were the ones also who got a bad name after World War II when it was exposed that so many were killed by the Nazis but so, because so many of, so much of the world wanted communism uh, they didn't mention that the Soviets had been slaughtering people for the same reasons for an awful long time that's where Hitler got his education from the communists and I, I, that's mentioned in the movie the, uh, the Soviet story it's a very good documentary if you can get a hold of it, very hard to get a hold of now, they, they pulled it off. But, uh, so what they did with the, with the eugenics is they changed it into too many people, too many of the wrong kind of people, oh, they're, they're eating up everything on the planet and so on, and the big boys, big foundations use them, they use the fringe group and, and the ones that are a bit crazy, hype them up, make them crazier, until they're fanatics, now they're teaching the stuff in school.